Greetings Internet, it's Mystic, and welcome back to a brand new speed build. Um, this one is a little bit different than like the normal houses that I would build probably. Um, because I, this is actually inspired by houses that I saw when I was in Boston at PAX with uh, the Nerdy Silhouette. And basically, there was a lot, if I remember her, or if I remember, I will insert the picture that I um, was kind of inspiring this on um, at the end of the video with, with, I can't talk, with the screenshots. Um, but basically, I'm not sure, I'm not entirely sure if they were townhouses or, um, apartments or whatnot. I'm not really sure what they were, but I really liked how they looked and where we were staying in East Austin, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, I, cause we were staying, we weren't staying on the side that the convention center was. So hold on one second. Yeah, we were in East Boston. Okay. Um, I had to check my my phone because um, it takes like a little like I don't know location thing when you take a picture anyway that's beside the point we were walking around one of the days in East Boston and this is like what the majority of all of the houses um, that I saw there looked like so I don't know I took a bunch of pictures of them and I was just really inspired um, to recreate them in The Sims. I thought that it would look really cool. So this is my very first, well, it's not my first speed build, but it's my very first speed build back from a short break that I took after PAX, which I, um, basically what had originally happened was I was trying really hard to get all my videos done and, like, for the week, and it just wasn't really happening and I was going to like f like bring them with me and finish editing them and then I left my hard drive here at home so I could no longer finish all the videos that I was going to post which I was really sad about for a long time and then I um, decided after PAX because I, there was, there wasn't anything I could do, so I was like, well, I guess I'll just take a break, you know, it's not really a big deal, I suppose. Um, so I did that, and then I, I came back from PAX, and I was, um, I thought I cut this part out, I guess not. Uh, I was attempting to put a roof on this place, and it just wasn't working out, uh, so it didn't look right. Anyway. Um, when I came back from PAX, I, I was really inspired, um, uh, about everything that I, I had learned, which I'll get in, I'll get into in a minute, um, because I want to tell you guys all about this speed build, or, I, what am I saying? I want to tell you guys all about the, um, PAX and, like, the whole experience, um, but I'll get in, into that in a minute. After my explanation, so... Basically, what was I saying? Um, well, both both me and Nerdy Silhouette, my good friend, were very um, inspired by everything that we learned at PAX. So when I came back, I decided that I needed to take about a week because I was preparing. Well, right now I am preparing because this is one of the first videos that I've... Um, filmed for my preparation, but my new upload schedule is very exciting. Um, I'm looking at this right now and it looks like a lot of windows on that little front thing, but in the picture, I swear, that's, that's how they were, so that's what I, what I did. Um, anyway, so basically my brand new upload schedule is I will be uploading Monday through Friday, five days a week. And I'm really excited about it. I really hope that it'll work out. Um, 
because I know I, I tend to have like computer problems and all that stuff. So hopefully it'll actually work out because I really want to try and actually do that. So as of right now, the schedule will go uh, speed builds on Mondays, uh, city living on Tuesdays, uh, the seven vampire toddler challenge on Wednesdays until that is over with. Um, the not so berry challenge, which I haven't started yet, but I will be on Thursdays, and The Walking Dead on Fridays. So hopefully all that works out. Um, that's the schedule that I have planned out right now. Um, I have a few, you know, fun speed builds planned for Speed Build Monday. And, um, I don't know, I don't know where, I, where I was going with that. Um, but basically, this is, this is the first one that I wanted to, um, you know, go with, obviously, because I wanted to explain about, you know, why I was gone and everything like that. Ooh, excuse me. Huh. And I also wanted to talk about packs because I just... I have a lot of stories from, from PAX uh, that I really wanted to share with you guys. So basically, I the week of PAX, it, um, let me think, I went home on a Monday, or I went home on that Monday, which was March 6th, which, which was my birthday. So I went home to visit my family and you know, do that on uh, my birthday. And then the next day, on Tuesday, me and Nerdy went just out to, you know, buy stuff for the, like, for packs, like, you know, little, like, shampoo and stuff like that to bring on the plane. And we also both wanted to buy a dress to, um where on the day that we got to meet Jack, which I'll get to in a minute, um, because we both really wanted to look nice. So that was Tuesday of that week. And then on Wednesday, we had our flight out to Boston at six in the morning, uh, the night before me and Nerdy didn't even sleep. Um, cause we got done with like stuff that we were doing maybe a couple hours before, uh, we had to like leave for the airport so there was no point in going to sleep so we just hung out and watched uh, Moana until we had to leave and then we had our flight out at six in the morning and nerdy fell asleep on the plane it was both of our like first times on a plane and I was surprised that she could fall asleep like that but I didn't, but that's okay. And so we got there, and we didn't really do much that day, I don't believe. No, we didn't really. Oh, I remember. Okay. Um, we got to our hotel room. We were going to, like, relax for a little bit and then go swimming. And that didn't happen. We ended up taking a nap. And... Oh, so... Oh, excuse me. We fell asleep around like three or four or something like that. And we were only going to sleep for a few hours. And I woke up at like nine o'clock and I was like, oh, well, all right. And Nerdy didn't wake up at all. So we basically, um, I got up to and like watched a movie for a little bit and then went back to bed. And Nerdy didn't wake up at all. So the next day, which was Thursday, we took like a really nice walk around um, around the East Boston area that we were staying in. And that's where or when I took a lot of like the, the pictures of the architecture around there. Um, and a couple of which are uh, this one, what this one is inspired on, obviously. And we walked around Maverick Square, which if you're uh, from Boston or live in Boston or anything like that, you probably know what that is. Um, 
and I don't think we did a whole lot else that day. Uh, I'm looking at my pictures just to... Oh yeah, and then, then we went swimming that day, and that was pretty much it. Um, so the next day was Friday, and that was the first day of PAX, which was super exciting. We were both super excited about it. And we got there, and we are... Our, 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 I can't talk. Our original intention was to go and, like, go to, to uh, Markiplier's signing. And when we got there, it had already been capped out, probably hours before we got there. And so that was kind of sad. But we, basically, there was paint, like, uh, these, like, window painting things. And so I wanted to take a picture of uh, a certain one of them. And so we went to do that. And all of a sudden, Nerdy taps me on the shoulder and she's like, Hey, Mystic, guess who is over, like, behind us? And it was Mark. He was standing behind us talking to a, a little girl and her mom. And we were, like, so excited. So when they... Like, when they were done um, talking to him, we went up and asked for a quick picture, which he didn't really have much time because he was he was actually heading to the signing because it hadn't, like, started yet, the signing, um, even though the, the line had capped out. So, whew, excuse me. Um, yeah, so he didn't have a whole lot of time, but he, he did have time to take a quick picture with us, which was super exciting because we were we were kind of sad. Like we would have been more sad if we had if we hadn't gotten to see Jack, but we were still kind of sad that we didn't get to meet Mark. So at least we got to. And that day we also went to Jack's panel, um, which the line was. Like, super insane. Uh, we stood there for at least two hours, maybe more, I think. I'm not entirely sure what time we started doing that. <sighs> but, um, yeah, we, so we stood in line for a long time for that and watched his panel, which was really interesting to watch. Um, or, it was fun. Um, it was just a Q&A, if you guys haven't, like, seen it online at all. Because it's all posted online, I know. Um, and that was pretty much it for Friday, which was the first day of PAX. And then on Saturday, uh, the second day of PAX, which is also, also just so happens to be the busiest day of PAX, um, we went to Mark's panel, um, and, you know, all of his friends were there, obviously. Oh, God. Why? Why phone? Okay. Um, you know, it was the Markiplier and Friends panel. I don't, I don't remember who all was there, but it was fun to, to watch. And that was in the, the big, um, the, uh, I can't think right now. The, the big, um, theater. I guess you could say. I think that's the right word for it. I don't really know. Um, so that had, like, a big screen and lights, and it was really cool. Um, really funny, too, because they did just, like, a bunch of skits um, for a lot of it. And Mark got a little emotional, which was really cute. Um, I think that, that his panel's also online, so you guys can see that. Um, and then after that, we just kind of hung out. Uh, we walked around the convention center for as long as we could stand because it, um, if any of you have ever been to PAX, you know that, um, on Saturday it is, like, the worst day for someone with social anxiety to be walking around down in the expo center because it's, like, so packed. I have a time-lapse video that I took because we... After the panel, we ate lunch, and we took it and went up to, like, um, one of the sky decks, because in the convention center there was two sky decks, 
um, that you could walk walk across to get to the other side of the um, convention center. And below it, there were like they were all like glass walls, and below it you could see the entire expo center, and it was really cool to like sit up there and watch just people watch while we, while we were eating. Um, so that day we just, we didn't really have any other, like, panels that we wanted to go to, so we just kind <clears> of <throat> hung out, and, um, when the center, when the convention center closed at 6, or Expo Center, I think, yeah, because it closes at, at 6, all of, like, the, the booths and everything in the Expo Center, at least that's when, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, um, that's when everything closed. There were still panels, like, going on, but there wasn't anything that we, like, wanted to see. So we just kind of went back to the hotel and relaxed because the next day we had a very early um, start to our day um, because that day, Sunday, the last day of PAX, was the day that Jack's signing was. So we got up at five in the morning to go to like get ready and go and line up outside to see Jack because his panel wasn't until I wanna say eleven it started. Um something like that. And um um I just lost my train of thought. Um, so we waited out outside for about an hour and a half, basically getting frostbite, and couldn't, like, couldn't feel our toes, our, oh my god, couldn't feel our toes, all that stuff, and we met a couple of, of girls in line that showed up maybe a half hour after us, not, uh, probably not even, and, whew, we, um, talked to them most, for most of the time, and, and then they let us into the convention center at about 7, even though the center doesn't open until 8, I think. Um, because we were all, you know, outside, and they, uh, you know, I guess they they weren't just going to let everyone sit outside in the cold, which was good, because I already was done with, with standing out in the cold. But anything to meet Jack. So we did that, and we basically... It was a madhouse trying to get into the line, and um, they, like, they they were giving everyone tickets, and the girls that were behind us, because we kind of lost them in the, um, you know, mad dash to try and get to the, uh, um, you know, to get to the, to the line. Um, I don't I'm, I don't think that they actually made it, which is kind of sad. But, um, uh, there were, there were people, there were other people that showed up after them that, that did make it, and they, I feel like they should have a better system for that, because they should have given tickets to people that were waiting outside at five or six in the morning, um, because they're the ones who actually deserve to, to see it, and not the people who run, ran, and pushed through the crowd to try and get in, um, so that was kind of, kind of annoying, and I feel bad that, um, that Jack feels bad that certain people didn't get in, but it's because people are crazy. Like, if we hadn't shown up at 5.30, we wouldn't have gotten in. We barely got in as it is, because we were towards the end of the line, and that's because we were trying not to be those people who ran and pushed, but we kind of had to if we wanted to get in, which we did, because that was, like, the main reason that we wanted to go to PAX was to meet Jack. Like, in general, we wanted to go, but seeing Jack was, like, the main reason we wanted to go. So, yeah. At least we accomplished that goal. We waited in line for so long, but we finally got to meet him and give him a hug. And let me tell you, his hugs are just as great as he says that they are. Um, and when, basically, Nerdy went first to meet him, and, um, it, and then, oh my god, I lost my train of thought. Um, she has her, like, her nerd hat, 
that she was wearing, and she, um, or she walked up to him, and he poked her hat and was like, nerd, and it was the cutest thing ever, and then when I went, went up, and he, he was like, sup, other nerd, and we were walking away, and he's like, sorry, I called you guys nerds, and we were like, no, it's okay, it's totally fine, and it was the best thing ever, um, it, made my entire life. I was so happy that we actually got to meet him and we got lots of pictures with him um, and a video of us like meeting him and it was just the best thing ever. Um, and then the rest of that day, I mean it, the rest of that day was like definitely the best day out of all three of them. Um, we, after that we went to a um, Another, uh, I can't think of the word right now, uh, panel, uh, there you go, panel, um, about being a successful YouTuber and making money out of your YouTube channel and all that stuff. Um, uh, I think that that was what, what it was called at least. Something like that, I don't know. But it was really informative and taught us a lot about, um, you know, um, how to create good content and stuff like that, which was really interesting and... That was, like, our main inspiration, um, or, that, that, well, for me, that was, like, the, the thing that made me so inspired, like, hearing, um, Jack and Mark talk made me really inspired also, but, um, learning all about, like, things, um, to how, like, how to improve, uh, your YouTube channel, it, like, um, made me really want to create content, so there's that, and, um, after that we just kind of went, um, there was one, like, there was, there was one room that had, like, every vintage, uh, game console that you could, like, that you could ever imagine, that you could, um, like, take, uh, or borrow, uh, games and play on. So we did that for a little bit. We played Mario Kart on our... Well, like, we, we played, like, the original Mario Kart, and it was really great. Um, it was kind of hard to look at, though, because the graphics were a little messed up. I think there was something messed up on, like, the specific game disc that we got, because the graphics were a little hard to look at. But after that, we just kind of went back to the hotel and went swimming, and... Met a couple of uh, friends at, in the hot tub that had also gone to PAX. Um, that obviously we hadn't seen them there, but we met a couple of friends um, in the hot tub that night, and hopefully we'll see them again next year at PAX. Maybe who knows? Um, but pretty much the next day, we just kind of packed up and got ready to head out to our flight because we had a later flight. Um, it was at like three, something like that. Um, but we had to check out of our hotel by five, or five, by noon. I don't know why I said five. And so we decided that we didn't want, want to just, like, lug our, our bags around everywhere. So we just kind of went to the airport and hung out until our flight. And that was pretty much it. We went home and all that great stuff. And, uh... A couple days later, I drove back home to where I live, and here we are. So, um, right now is the, the week that I'm taking to, um, uh, like, get everything all situated for my uploading five days a week schedule for the entire month. I have the, literally the entire month of April planned out, plus the first, or the last week of March. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, oh god. Um, that's pretty much that. Um, I do have a plan to make, or, I have some, like, some video footage that me and Nerdy both took, um, that I'm going to make a, uh, like, a small vlog out of. Um, I have no idea when that'll be up, because it occurred to me that I didn't make space at all for that in my schedule for the month 
so that's probably just gonna be a bonus video for like whenever I get it to you know whenever I get it to oh my god whenever I get it edited and put together and everything like that but um yeah hmm I'm trying to think of something else so I don't know I'm, I'm trying to think of something else to say because I only have a few minutes left to um to like talk so I'm trying to think of something else to talk about um we took lots of pictures oh and we we wrote a letter we each wrote a letter to, to Jack so I haven't watched his unboxing video of like all the stuff that he got at PAC but I'm kind of hoping that he reads it in the, the letter not gonna lie or he reads the letter in the video not gonna lie can't talk um <sighs> oops sorry my goodness um, so, I kind of want to, so I'm thinking, basically, I don't know how many more parts the Seven Vampire Tyler Challenge is going to end up having, because there's only a certain amount of, like, things that are, there's only so long that it will go on, because obviously the toddlers will age up into children, and then they have no more toddler challenge. So I'm wondering, do you guys think that I should, um, like, continue on with that? And, like, when they're children and, um, do a little, a little let's play on them? Or do you think I should start something different? Because I kind of want to, um, when I was at PAX, I bought, it, it's kind of, kind of silly because I don't have a PS2 anymore. I used to. Um, but I bought, uh, The Sims Bustin' Out because that's such a classic and it's hard to find. So I wanted it <coughs> for a long time. So I decided to, to buy it and, um, I'm looking for a PS2. I went, I went to this vintage game store that I have, um, in my town and like today because there was a PS2 but I didn't I didn't buy it that day and I regret it so much because I went back to go and get it today and <coughs> it was not there anymore so I'm really sad about that but I will find one and I'm wondering if I should try and do a series on that or they also have um, The Sims like just The Sims for PS2 that I was thinking about getting and I might do a series on that who knows that'd be kind of fun um, because I don't have a computer that will be equipped to play The Sims. Um, and, yeah. My computer has a lot of, like, storage issues, but we're not going to get into, into that right now. Hopefully, knock on wood, it works fine. Um, but, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this, um, this build is completely, um, uh, completely, oh my god, I can't talk, a completely base game build, because, um, for some reason last night when I decided to start <clears throat> building this, my, for some, it, like, all of my expansion packs were installed, um, basically I have, I have everything except for a couple of the stuff packs that I'm gonna get eventually, but I just don't, don't have them yet, and, um, whew. yeah, so all that was installed, but for some reason, it, like, the only my base game content is what was there. Like, um, I, I built this in the save file that I have my current household in, which there will be an update for that eventually. I'm thinking beginning of next month, but that's beside the point. Um, so everything was just gone. So there was only base game stuff. So I decided I wasn't going to bother trying to fix it. I just decided to go with like just a base game build because I know some people like those so this is all base game so if you have Sims 4 and like all the updates that they've done on it since then um, you'll be able to download this house with everything in it no problem um, so that, that's good um, we are coming up to the end here really shortly so yeah um, this, this house was a little bit hard to 
uh, do like the interior of because it um, it's kind of an odd shape, but it does have three three bedrooms. Can't talk. Um, a master bedroom and then two kids rooms. One toddler, one like child, obviously. So I think now all I do is put in a couple of landscapey type things, and that is about it. Um, I hope you guys like this uh, speed build. Um, I'm not the best builder, but I was trying really hard, and I think that this house turned out fantastically, especially for a base game build. Um, there's me just like putting dirt around the house because I think it looks cool like that. I don't really know. Oh, uh, I didn't really do too much landscaping because I, I don't know, it was, it looked kind of weird when I did. Um, so, oh yeah, I put like a, a grill and stuff back there and that's about it. I was looking for hot tubs because I forgot that they weren't in the base game. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So I think that's all, everything that I'm going to say, um, because we're almost at the end. So, or we're almost to the part with the screenshots. So, oh god. Um. Eh. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I hope you all have a super fantastic, awesome, splendid, amazing day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.